in today's video, we take a look at some of the craziest stage secrets inside of the game. And no, I'm not talking about the hidden item locations. These are kind of built-in features that some of the stages have. Whether they're insane glitches or parts of the game that are broken that 99% of you don't actually know about. So make sure you guys stay tuned throughout the entire video. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and hop straight into it. I'm telling you guys right now, all the points in this video and all the features I'm going to show you are super cool. So just stay to the end so you don't miss anything. All right, let's go ahead and hop straight into the first one on the list because uh, this one is actually really cool. All right, so the first server I actually joined, I actually found this and it's actually really cool what this stage can do. So I'm just going to attach a few blocks to uh, my boat here. Just don't mind these at all. I'm just kind of using these just to show you guys what exactly uh, this stage can actually do. So we're just going to make our way over to the stage. Now bring any block you want with you, all right? I don't really know if this block or if this feature works on all of these blocks or not, but I'm definitely gonna find out right now. So make your way inside of, uh, like, the retro stage. I'm not entirely too sure the name of the stage, but it usually spawns towards the end, and I have to be really, really fast because these stages are reloading, and I have to be very, very quick to this. All right, here we go. I see the stage right there. I just have to make sure that I don't get hit by a UFO. That would not be good. All right, let me just go down here. Don't mind me. Please, UFO, don't, don't do it. Don't do it, bro. All right, so we're inside of the stage now. So this right here is like the retro stage. Now, you guys can notice all over that all like these blocks on the side have these really cool outline effects. Now, if we actually take our blocks here that I have attached to the deck and I just uh, gently have them touch these blocks inside of here, will it work for that one? I don't know if it'll work for the chair. All right, hold on. Let's try it with the, the normal brick block here. All right, boom. Oh, God. Oh, no, Fusion. Oh, you messed it up. You had one chance. You had absolutely one chance to make this work and you blew it. Oh, no. I have to be extremely quick to this because if I'm not quick enough, then um, I'm gonna lose it. So I'm just gonna build a platform right here just like this. So I guess this only works uh, with like certain blocks. Um, I think like the actual building blocks, but this really cool effect is gonna be on this block and you can actually bring it back to your plot. You guys have got to see that. I'm just really hoping the stages didn't refresh. Please, stages, don't refresh on me. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, this one's respawning. Let me just go inside of here real fast and come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. I made it. All right, it's not gonna respawn now. So you guys see, I'm inside of the stage now i'm gonna turn my jet speed down and all i have to do is just barely hit one of these blocks just like that all right boom we got it so now it actually turns it into this really cool designed block now we're actually gonna take this back to our plots and we're gonna see what we can actually do with this if we can actually rescale it paint it see what happens when we throw potions at it because it has this really really cool outline around it that honestly looks pretty sick all right so we made it back to our plot now so let's go right about there boom oh all right so we got our build back here all right so i can actually anchor this thing now if i I want to. Can I actually scale this? What? Oh my, wait, that's actually sick. All right, so you can actually scale this now. I wonder what happens when you save it. Wait, if, if you can actually save this, that would be insane. So if you change the color. Wait, what? Wait, that actually is so cool. Okay, so you can change the color to pretty much anything that you want. And you have this really, really cool outline around it. That's kind of a 3D outline, I believe. So that's honestly really cool. I'm just gonna do black. Oh, the black looks awesome. All right, I absolutely love that. What about bright pink? Well, the, uh, the color around it's bright pink already so i think we'll just stick with black here but you guys can see you can have some pretty cool features with this now here's the test what actually happens if i clone this uh will it work <gasps> what okay wait you could actually just build a oh uh, with like these like cool like neon outlines around them that's actually really really sick i'm not gonna lie guys all right so now that we actually have some duplicated all right let's just go over and uh, see if anything crazy happens when we throw a potion at it because usually in build a boat uh when you throw potions at things they turn to like really really cool colors and oh, okay. Now it turns it into like this ice texture. Okay, I kind of like that. What happens if I throw another one? Will that do anything? Oh, okay, no. All right, let's try it with a normal fire. Uh, well, that, that did absolutely nothing. So these blocks become immune. All right, let's try to throw it. Oh, I can't aim. All right, let's try throwing it here. Oh, wait, what? Okay, we turned it into a completely different uh, material almost. That's kind of cool. But yeah, you guys can see, you can do some pretty awesome things with this. Let me save this and see if it actually works. All right, in the moment of truth here, let's go over, let's load and... Uh, okay, it actually actually doesn't save but don't worry guys because we're about to get into some more crazy stage secrets that you guys have got to stay tuned for that was pretty cool for just building temporary but this next one will blow your mind all right so this next one you don't need any items to bring with you at all i mean the only other thing that i can actually actually no you do need to bring some items with you i do recommend bringing yourself a portal because this is actually going to help you out because theoretically you can get an infinite amount of this item that i'm about to show you and not only that but also get your very own custom item 
out of this as well. So if we actually make our way over through the stages here, I probably should grab myself some wings before I do anything. Wings, 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 wings. Ow, 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 ow. All right, so I got myself some wings here. So now I'm going to make my way inside of the stages. Look out for the mushroom stage. Now, this is the stage that actually opens up the secret potion area. But there's a thing about this stage that makes it way better than everything else. Not just the secret with it. You guys will see here in just a second. But let me just go over here. Hey, yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I need to park my, uh, I need to park my, my, uh, all right, there we go. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so let's go over here. Let's open up the secret area. All right, it's gonna leave my portal there for now. Hopefully, that doesn't go anywhere. And we're gonna open up this room, which should spawn in. Why isn't it spawning in? Hello, hello, build a boat. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so we got that spawned in. So we're just gonna go back over here now. Let's select everything that we have. All right, so I'm back inside of my seat now. And I'm just gonna bring this portal right over here inside of the stage, just like this. And we're gonna go like that. Well, bam. All right, so now we're inside of here. And you guys can see this is where the secret area is. But the best part about this is the actual uh, potion maker you guys can see we have right. So we're gonna ink the portal down. So basically what this will do is it'll actually make you an infinite amount of potions, however much you want. So you guys can see right here, I can make this, go back over to my plot, throw it, and use it. And you can pretty much use for everything. But also really, really good thing about this stage is not only can you make, you know, freeze potions, fire potions, but it's the only place inside of the game that you can actually make the uh, the sleep potion, which you get here. If I grab this right here, one white berry, two blueberries like this. You can actually make the sleep potion that only pretty much works on this eyeball here, but it's actually really, really cool. And um, it's pretty much the only area and place inside of the game which you guys can actually farm as many potions as you want. Now, one thing I was thinking about is what actually happens if we use the terrain moving glitch on this potion maker right here. If we can actually make potions from our spawn area. I'll definitely try that in a later video, so stay tuned for that. But this is definitely one of the most beneficial stage secrets inside of the game. And I can literally make you an infinite amount of potions. But this next item I'm actually going to show you from one of the stages is completely glitched out. And it literally has an infinite amount of damage. Check this out. All right, and lucky enough, I just joined a server with this stage in it. So for this one, we are going to need a pretty much just a jet. I mean, you don't really need a jet. Uh, guys, I just use the jets because they're very easy to get around. You don't need a jet for literally any of these whatsoever. But I'm going to grab myself a candy and some wings just to help me out a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a, a, um, a harpoon like this. Golden harpoon. So we're going to take this over to, I believe it's the third stage of the server. Uh, now, it might spawn in different areas, but inside of this server, it is the third stage, which is going to be the Wild West stage. So we're going to make our way right over here. Now, inside of this stage, believe it or not, there's actually a glitched item, which I have to be very, very cautious about because these tumbleweeds uh, can very, very much affect this. Well, if we go over here, we knock this off. That part right there of the stage is completely unaimed, which means... Uh, oh, God, get me out of here, get me out of here. Which means that um, it's an item inside of the game that can basically deal damage to anything inside of the game to where it's not actually a real item. It's actually a fake item. So you guys can see when this thing actually touches block or item, literally anything, you'll see and notice how it won't break. Check this out. Boom, right there. It took out that rock. But this thing, is, since it really has no, like, value to it and no, like, strength, its strength is pretty much infinite, which means that you can basically get your own infinite block inside of the game by just going to the stage and doing that right there. Now, I also believe that the other side of that, uh, of that decoration over there is also has the glitched item. I don't know if I can actually write on top of this or not, but you can see it is taking out uh, quite a bit uh, of here. And oh, come on, come on, please, please allow me to stand on you. Please, please, I beg you. I beg you. I'm running on it. I guess that's a start. Oh, oh no, but you guys can see, I mean, this thing will literally just go to the end without a problem. It'll just plow through pretty much everything on the map and it's super. But if you guys do want to see more stage secrets just like these, make sure to go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. If this video gets to 500 likes, I'll do more stage secrets and features inside of the game that are absolutely insane. So like I said, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys inside the next one. Peace out and goodbye.